the Wi-Fi acting up? In this video, I'm going to show you some super easy ways to fix that. So let's kick it off. Catch D. First things first. Make sure your Mac's rocking the latest software update. Once that's done, roll with these fixes. All right, fix number one. Restart your Mac and your router. This usually clears up stuff like Wi-Fi freezes, IP beefs, or connections getting stuck. On your Mac, hit up the Apple logo in the top left corner, then click Restart. Smash that Restart button and confirm it. Let it do its thing, then punch in your password to get back in. Now for your router. Yank out the power cord and chill for like 20 to 30 seconds. Then plug it back in and hang tight till all the lights pop back on. Once that's set, hook back up to your Wi-Fi and see if you're good to go. If your Mac's saying can't connect or throwing a wrong password at you, here's the next move. Forget and reconnect. This clears out Wi-Fi glitches, busted profiles, or wrong saved passwords. Pop open system settings from your dock or just hit the Apple logo and pick system settings. Tap on Wi-Fi, then smash that details button. Next, hit forget this network. Your Mac's gonna pop up a message saying something like, once you remove Wi-Fi, your Mac and other devices with iCloud Keychain won't auto join this network anymore. Go ahead and click remove to lock that in. Now, you might see that same network show up under other networks. Click connect. Punch in the right password, and you're all set to reconnect. If you're rocking a VPN, that might be messing with your internet. So here's fix number three. Kill that VPN setup. Head over to the Apple menu, click on System Settings, then scroll down and hit VPN. Tap that little info icon next to the VPN toggle. After that, smash the Remove Configuration button and confirm you want to ditch it. That's it. VPN's gone, and your connection should chill out. If you're dealing with IP headaches, like your Mac showing a self-assigned IP, saying it's connected but you got no internet, running into IP beefs on your network, or websites loading slower than molasses, here's solution four. Renew that DHCP lease. DHCP is just the thing that hands out your Mac's IP address, so renewing it basically gives you a fresh IP, DNS server, and gateway hookup. Slide up to the Apple logo in the top left, click that, then hit System Settings. Jump over to Network, tap on Wi-Fi, then smash the Details button right next to your connected network. After that, head to TCP IP. You'll see the DHCP Lease section. Click on Renew DHCP Lease. Boom. Fresh network setup. Now if your pages still ain't loading even though Wi-Fi says it's all good, or you're getting DNS errors like server can't be found or DNS lookup failed, here's fix five. Check and swap out those DNS servers. Same deal, Apple menu, system settings, but this time head down to the DNS section. Click that plus icon and throw in 8.8.8.8 and 1.1.1.1. Now watch. Soon as I hit up the Apple website, it pops right up thanks to Google or Cloudflare DNS doing their thing. If your Wi-Fi just won't flip on, keep showing a connection timeout, or straight up won't let you join the network, here's fix six. Reset those Wi-Fi preferences. Doing this helps your Mac whip up fresh network settings. So here's how to get it done. First, pop open a finder window from your dock. Up top, Hit the Go menu and click Go to Folder. Type in the path you see on the screen, then smash that return key. Next, trash these files you see listed on the screen. Once that's done, restart your Mac and let it do its thing. When it boots back up, log in, and your Mac's gonna automatically build brand new Wi-Fi preferences for you. All right, so fix number seven is Boot up in safe mode. Hit up the Apple menu, click shutdown, and confirm it. Right when your Mac starts booting back up, press the power button to see startup options, then select your startup volume, and hold down that shift key on your keyboard till you see the login screen. Again, enter login password to continue. You'll know because it says safe mode up top in red. Check video description for full video on how to start safe mode and exit safe mode on MacBook. Check it out. Now my Mac's running in safe mode. 
Want to bounce back to normal? Just restart your Mac again and it'll boot right back into regular mode. Easy as that. If your Wi-Fi icon's looking gray, or you're getting a no hardware installed message, here's fix 8. Reset that SMC and Pram. If you're rocking an Apple Silicon Mac, head up to the Apple menu in the top left, click shut down and confirm it. Chill for like 30 seconds. Then, hit that power button on the top right of your keyboard, hold it for about a second, then let go. Your Mac will fire back up. Now, if you're still running an Intel Mac, do this. To reset the SMC, shut your Mac all the way down. Then press Shift, Control, Option, and the power key all at once for 10 seconds. For Pram, for Apple Silicon Mac, simply shut down and restart your Mac. For Intel Mac, turn your Mac on, and right away hold down Command, Option, P and R for at least 20 seconds. That's it, you're good. Last thing, check out your system report. Hop up to the Apple menu, click About This Mac, then hit More Info, and tap System Report at the bottom. Scroll over to Network and click Wi-Fi. If there's nothing showing there, that means your Wi-Fi hardware is probably toast. But don't sweat it. You can grab a USB Wi-Fi adapter to get back online. Links down in the video description. Hope this vid helped you out. Drop a comment below and tell me which fix worked for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe for more slick tips and tricks.